a man whose name was Siddle Cook built his own DIY caravan many years ago in County Durham. So good was this caravan, many people asked him to make another one, and then could you do me one please? And he started to produce them. And he took his first name Siddle, turned it around, and it became Eldis. And the make continues and continues, even though, bless his heart, Siddle is no longer with us. And behind me is an Eldis. It's known as the Avanti model, it's the 482, and that means it's got two berths. And wait a minute, it's 10 years old. The parts of the chassis that you can see, such as the top of the jockey wheel, have little blue designations, and that's the feature of a BPW chassis, as opposed to the other one made by Alco. Whoops, a little bit of an obstacle course here, but at least they fitted the bin. Prior to this, people just got a carrier bag and they hooked it on the oven handle, and that was it. Thank goodness this company is starting to introduce that feature. Uh, and here we are, in the kitchen, in the middle of the van. Oh dear, I'm going to go over here first. I haven't seen a fridge like this for a little while. Quite a complicated lineup of controls. On the latest ones, it's simplified but you'll soon get the hang of this. And notice that there's a pizza ignition button there to ignite the gas burner. You don't tend to have those now on the latest caravans. They've got electronic ignition. And I think there's gonna be something inside that's unusual. Yes, down in the corner, there's a tiny porthole. And these were fitted in the old days, including this year, but not today. What do you see in the porthole? Someone walking across the site? No, 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 no. That's where you see the gas flame to see that the pizza ignition has actually ignited it. I like that. I wish they still fitted that. Let's go and look at the sink and incidentally, forgive the noise, it's raining, it's summer after all. A glass lid, good. Oh, now wait. I haven't seen this for a long time. A stainless steel sink where the draining section is that far beneath the worktop, so the water coming off the plates and the saucepans that you've washed easily discharges back into the sink. I think that's a good design feature. Moving over to the hob, fairly straightforward, four burners. The one thing you sometimes see in the later versions today is one of the burners is a hot plate running off electricity, but for my money that's good enough to cook a good meal. And underneath is equally the grill where you can get into action and make your toast. A big oven here. Well, I never use an oven in my caravans apart from heating up the chips that I bought down the road. But for many people, that's crucially important. Goodness me, this van is 10 years old and yet the resilience of this foam on this seat is probably as good as the day when it was made. Of course, we know this is a two berth and these are the two beds. If you had to use this individually because you wanted to sleep individually. I'm not going to put these down on that lovely cushion, but there's plenty of length there. But like so many vans, and this is a, a situation which you, you, you find in so many modern vans, latest vans, if you pull this section out here, you've got the support for making a double bed across. Now something intrigues me, this part of the cushion is called the knee roll. The idea of the rise at the front is to support the back of the legs. The only trouble is you sometimes find caravans where it's really too pronounced and that becomes evident once you use the cushions to make your mattress. The mattress ends up too much of a rise and a fall. On this Avanti, they've got it just right. With that level of specification, that's impressive, you know, for a caravan made in 2004. If you're looking for a two berth, here it is. And what about the price? Would you believe that these can be found for something like a third of the ones that are brand new? It's worth going out to look for one. 